Alright, this is Adi for Switchburn.com. We're here with Haunting Over Music. I wanted to ask you about this kind of mind-blowing concept, I think, of putting out an EP once a month, all year. I just thought it was kind of a way, because a lot of times we play music and we write and go to practice and we don't really get that stuff out there. So I kind of wanted to put a challenge upon the band, or, or all of us did, uh, to try to, you know, if you put it out there, you really got to answer the call. So that's kind of what we're doing. Do you guys have a theme in mind, like, or is it just how it plays out for now? Or um, We don't have a particular theme in mind for each month, but I think as they come along, we will kind of... I, want to put it'll songs have a, together. together. Yeah, it'll yeah, have exactly. a message, I think, in the end. Yeah, but so. you can't tell you now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you cannot. Where do you guys record, and what, uh, what's that process? How often do you guys get in there? We, we have two, like, home studios that we record through, mainly Ian's house, and we just kind of do stuff and get together. You know, every other Monday, we usually have practice, but sometimes we'll just get there and analyze everything that we're recording. But We'll kind of get together, like, with each other, like, two or three of us um, on any given night of the week and just kind of knock some stuff out. Yeah. What about songwriting? Is that is this primarily a couple of people, or does everyone contribute? I think what's cool about this band is that everybody is a songwriter. Um, we don't, you know, we're, we're all sort of contributing. Um, when we write the songs and practices and stuff like that, it's usually somebody comes in with an idea, most of the time George, Ian, or Anthony, and uh, we'll just kind of all elaborate on it. But it's, it went from being kind of a slow process um, to begin with to really rapidly picking up some pace recently just because of, the, the, like, we kind of have to. Yeah, <laughs> we don't really, we don't I really think have a choice. People who, you know, who weren't writing before now with this challenge have come out with some of the best songs that we've put out, you know? Because you know, they've actually had, you know what, I do have something. Can I you know, play it out there? And we're like, it's badass, you know? Um, why the name Haunting Oboe Music? That's from Fantasia. Um, you know how if you're watching a movie and you have like, subtitles on or closed caption, I guess? And uh, at one point, it's, I guess it's when there's the broom and some Mickey, Yeah, on. Mickey Mouse running like away from the broomsticks. In it's kind of yeah. like haunting oboe music. Haunting oboe music That's what playing. you would be hearing if you were hearing any sound. Yeah, and we're like, what, what is that? So I don't know. It's not really about, I don't, a name isn't really that important to us. It's more about the music, so just kind of, you know, name. But. It's like oddly descriptive, though. I yeah, mean, it, it was, I don't though. think it was intentionally when they came up with the name supposed to be so accurate, but it kind of, I mean, we obviously don't have, we obviously don't have an oboe, but we're accepting applications. <laughs> There's 11 EPs to hear. So, South by Southwest is coming up. Did you guys apply to... <laughs> I think we yes. missed. We, yes. we, we, we actually. Uh, <laughs> we were denied. No, we no, forgot. We did we? We forgot this year. <laughs> we did. No, we yeah, forgot. We we're playing some, some day no. shows, but yeah, we I don't, we're playing we're playing don't, don't know if we even did. No, we actually apply. No, we didn't. We, we would have been denied because we're from Austin. Year, right? yeah. <laughs> no, actually, they took a lot of Austin bands. I don't know. We're playing a lot of day shows. Yeah, and we always play a lot. We didn't. We forgot to apply this year. Yeah, I'd whatever. almost rather play the the free parties and stuff. Yeah, yeah I mean, at this yeah. point, like I mean, South by used to be uh, a chance to be seen by people, like like by you know, Im like important people, I guess you know. But whatever, Those like people aren't as important. The, yeah, it doesn't like it's, it's so because now, it's, it's because or yeah, it's because you don't need a label anymore. Right. Like the, now, the labels push the bands that they already have, at South and then they South raffle South. like. A thousand, uh, like a thousand wrist, wristbands, and you can't even buy them this year, I think. Um, but the free parties are always free, and you can usually get into them. And they're the best shows, too. Yeah, the day parties, to me. Because the bands that are touring that you want to see anyway are gonna play those. Um, what about like, what, what do you guys think of that whole concept? about, you know, it's called selling out. Whatever, like, I'm yeah. for it. Uh, <laughs> I want to sell out as show, much as I can. Yeah. I want <laughs> no. I don't care about my reputation. Um, I just want money. No, we don't want to sell out. <laughs> I, that's my opinion. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, you want to get kidding. your music out there, but yeah. you want to get it to the right audience. So if you're putting your, your stuff on, you know, crap that sucks, you don't want to put it on it. But if it's to something that people are actually going to listen to it, so that's technology has made it a lot easier. Yeah. You know, like you don't necessarily have to have a major label these days to, uh, you know, to have your songs out there. I mean, it helps for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, we'll have our stuff up on iTunes here in about a month. There's a pretty long waiting process if you don't have a label behind your back, but um, it is out there, and so um, we can do a lot of that stuff without the help of